Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. So in today's video, we are going to create a little application. So what is our use case? Our use case is to have a completely serverless architecture. It does that based on some action which user does, we have to send an email to the user, but we do not want to leverage any servers. So we are using AWS API Gateway, Lambda and SES, and through which user does some action, he or she hits the API Gateway endpoint and then receives an email uh, through Gmail on his email account. So let's see how does it looks like. I have created that implementation and I will do that all the configuration in front of you, right? So this is Postman. This is our API endpoint, right? And I'm passing some data as JSON here. We are doing this using Node.js. The name I am passing in is JK and it is the email. Now what we are going to do, we are just going to simply send button. When I have sent it, now let's go to my email. I can see there's one message in my email and the time is in UTC, so you can ignore it. Let me show you the time in UTC right now. So it is 11.43 and we received that email at 11.36. Sorry, this is not the one. This is the one 11.43. This is the email that we have sent right now. So uh, the use case depends on uh, whatever thing it is like uh, we do not want to keep our server running just because we want to send an email uh, in a few hours or uh, some, right? So, and we just have to pay for the Lambda for the number of seconds our code is running and it has a negligible cost, right? So how are we achieving this? User is just putting a post request. It is going to API Gateway. API Gateway is executing our Lambda function. In the Lambda function, we have the code. The code is here. I will give it to you. And the user is, uh, and the API gateway, when it executes Lambda, the code with which I showed you right now gets executed. And through SES, it sends an email which looks like this, right? So this is what we get from SES. All the services are from AWS. We get an email on Gmail or whatever the user's email is, right? We get an email there. Now, uh, what do we need to do? So for that, we first of all need to go to our AWS console, right? We are going to set up things. We are going to go to Amazon uh, simple email service. You can type in SES and you will see simple email service. You have to go to identities. You have to create an identity, select email address. And this is the email address that uh, through which your emails are going to be sent, right? So you can put in your email and uh, click on create identity. When you click on create identity, you will receive an email on your email address. You have to click that link. That email is from Amazon to confirm that this email address is yours. Now, when you are done, you are going to go into IAM. You are going to go in IAM and identity and access management. You're going to uh, roles create a role and select AWS service as the trusted enti I, uh, entity type. Your use case is Lambda. You will select Lambda. Now you will hit next and you will select SES. You will see SES full access here. Just check the box and click next. Provide any role name that you prefer, right? I have a, a role already in place and the name is SES full access, right? Now what we are going to do, now we are going to go to Lambda to configure the function. This is Lambda. I am going to create a function and the function name is test. Runtime environment, I'm going to select as Node.js 16. Default execution role, you have to change it. Use an existing role. We created a role right now and the name is SES full access. So what we are going to do when AWS Lambda function is invoked, it will send an email through SES. So it's uh, mandatory that Lambda have access to simple email service. Create on create function. Now you will see code here. So you have to write some code. Let me go to uh, app eraser. Now you can see we have some code here. Let me copy it. Now I am explaining you everything. Okay. Remove it from here. JavaScript and all. So first of all, what we are going to do, we need AWS SDK for this, right? What is we are going to do next is from AWS, we are going to create a simple email service object, SES. 
we are going to pass a region my region is ap south one you are going to pass your region here now exports dot handler is the basic default function of lambda now here we are configuring parameters on which our email will be sent so the destination is the to address which is event dot email where are we going to get this event object from so whatever the body of the payload that we are going to pass it is the event object right so from event object we can have name email and message now what we are going to do here two addresses event dot email this is the body i am passing a data dear event dot name to uppercase this is a test email <coughs> pardon me now this is the uh, subject test email from ses via lambda sources my email address which i just verified in the simple email service right now what we are going to do we are going to enter a try and catch block right in try and catch block what we are doing is ses dot send email and parameters these parameters we are going to pass and we are going to await that promise now we are going to store the result in data you can completely ignore this line this was for testing purposes only now when the email is sent successfully you will get a return status which is code is 200 and messages email sent successfully same is here email sent successfully and status code is code is 200 so when a lambda function is successful in sending that email it is going to give us this email sent successfully otherwise it is going to throw this error to us 500 code error sending email we are done with this simply deploy this once this is deployed we are going to configure our api gateway now i am going to api gateway and now i am going to create a new api it is going to be a rest api build it name is uh youtube demo this is the name and the endpoint type is going to be regional just create the api first go to stages create a stage it is basically sort of environment for us i'm going to put test in it and create a stage uh, deployment uh, sorry let's wait we got to deploy the api first that we, then we will create the stage so resources create a resource resource path is test huh? and uh, resource name is going to be sent create right on send we are going to create a method which is post method integration type is lambda function because we want to execute our lambda function and what was that email uh, oh sorry the function was called test and create method you will create this method you can now what you can do is test so i will put these details here to see if everything is fine test it out if everything is good everything is good because we got a status code of 200 and here i have received an email from uh, drjk 1151 this is the most recent email that we have got so which means we have configured our api gateway correctly now we are going to deploy this api before deployment let's go to stages now we will be able to create a stage deployment why do we not see a deployment stage name is test just wait a second uh, resources deploy the api no stage deploy it it is deployed stages create a stage test deployment we have the deployment here create a stage and now to this stage we have the invoke url we have this invoke url now i am going to paste this url here and our endpoint was sent let's test it out finally so the email is sent successfully we got the date here and we have just now received another email 1152 utc time in utc let's refresh 1152 so that is all we have to do it is pretty simple thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it let's meet in another video